Today I want to share with you a skill to use in implementing and, and uh, helping your clients to prevent relapse. A lot of times we uh, fail to uh, engage our clients around this and prepare them adequately to prevent relapse. So that could be a return to substance use or a decline in mental health or self-harming behavior or whatnot. Um, and, and the clients can oftentimes not be aware of what's working in their uh, their progress or their success. It can just remain out of their awareness. And especially the more negative clients, sometimes they don't feel hopeful or optimistic about their um, abilities to use uh, relapse prevention skills. So this is an alternative way to get at um, skills that are useful for relapse prevention. So it works real simple like this. And this is for the client that is, uh, again, not very confident in their abilities. And you just let the client know that you're going to talk about relapse prevention stuff and ask them if that's all right. And tell them that you're going to do something a little different. Something that's helped some people is for us to figure out how we can, you know, take what you've done right now and how would we just make it, you know, make you have the worst day possible. You know, how would we make you you know, work yourself up into a tizzy, or you know, what would you need to do to uh, be rehospitalized? What are the things that you need to do? And get the client in that mindset. So the client says, well, I'd have to stop taking my medication, or I'd have to just be in my bed all day and stop going to the gym, and stop talking to my mother, and stop, you know, praying. Or And they're going to come up with a litany of things that they have to stop doing. So we've engaged the client in their negative model of thought. And so we also, though, can collect in our own mind, as we listen as the therapist, all of the skills they're telling us. So as they go through their litany of things that they would have to not do or stop doing or have to do, you know, I'd have to start drinking again. I'd have to start associating with the people in the other neighborhood that I moved away from, you know all of a sudden we have an awareness of what are the things that they can do to keep their progress going. So at the end of it, we just ask them, okay, how can we make that bad day not happen? What do you think, we, you know, having said everything you said, what do you think that we could do to ensure that that doesn't happen at all? And then the client comes up with the plan. Well, I definitely have to, you know, you know make sure that I stay close to my family and go to church, or keep going to the gym. You know, I want to call my sponsor. They're going to come up with a plan. So all we've done is really, again, hyperextended uh, a lot of that, uh, that negative thought process to generate a, uh, a model or a plan to prevent relapse. Okay? And so uh, the client leaves with a realistic plan that they've generated, even though they may not have initially planned on it. So, hope you find this helpful, and again, um, try this with your clients. Thanks.